is the first day of hurricane season. Tracking the tropics right now with First Alert meteorologist Jennifer Correa. Jennifer, we understand a little bit of a, a disturbance is brewing. Oh, yes, it is over the Gulf of Mexico. And you know what, Holly, at the beginning of the week, it was just an upper level low interacting with a surface trough. But now the past few hours on satellite looks a little better organized when thunderstorms start to really develop and come together more compact that shows signs of organization. That's why now the Hurricane Center has actually bumped up the chance for development to 50% the next two to five days as it kind of just meanders over mainly the eastern Gulf of Mexico. But I do want to point out most of the thunderstorms look to be on the uh, eastern side if there is a center. And you know what? We don't know if there's a center yet at the surface, but Hurricane Hunter aircraft from the Air Force are going to be headed out this afternoon to investigate, but we do know this is now Invest 91. And here's a look at the spaghetti mo models. I know a lot going on here, but in the most part, the spaghetti models are in agreement that this is going to stick over the Gulf of Mexico, kind of slag down south. So it's lagging a little bit, not so much speed with this move mo motion of this system. So that's why we still have a stormy forecast leading into the start of the weekend for much of Florida, including here at home in the Treasure Coast and the Palm Beaches. But one thing I do want to point out, just a few of the models kind of still have it moving over the Florida Straits and then eventually over the Bahamas. Still a lot of uncertainty, but what you need to know is that, yes, it looks better organized on satellite. Hurricane hunters are investigating later today. Tropical downpours are still in the forecast for us. Flood watch does remain in effect for Palm Beach County. Okay, so we need to talk about, of course, uh, the prediction predictions and these predictions are from National Oceanic uh and an atmospheric administration, NOAA. And so this is what they predict 12 to 17 named storms. It could be tropical systems or hurricanes, but out of those 12, 17, they're predicting that yes, five to nine will be hurricanes. One to four will be devastating storms or a major category, and that signifies a category three and above that. So what we're looking ahead though with El Nino coming our way, it looks like it's going to be a better chance we'll get into El Nino by August, and that usually suppresses activity out there. However, it is unusually warm when it comes to the sea surface temperatures. That's why NOAA is still predicting near normal or just above average when it comes to hurricane season.